can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? So this is a single viral particle, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself. And then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. The spike proteins that surround the virus attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Once it forces its way in, it spreads its RNA around the host cell, multiplies, exits, and repeats, which makes us sick. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody, it'll prevent them from being able to attach and enter cells. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. You see all those proteins on the surface. So when we talk about the spike proteins, that's what we're talking about, no matter which virus we're looking at. Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here. Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? Can you just tell me kind of what we're looking at here? So this is a single viral particle. 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 So this is a single viral particle, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and the yellow you see is the core of the virus itself, and then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange, and then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around around it that's in orange. And then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange. And then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange. And then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange. And then the corona, where coronaviruses get their name, is sort of that halo around it that's in orange. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. That corona is the key to understanding how the virus hijacks our cells. The spike proteins that surround the virus, 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 the spike proteins that surround the virus attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Attach to a host cell's membrane and then penetrate it. Once it forces its way in, 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 it spreads its RNA around the host cell, 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 multiplies, exits, and repeats. Multiplies, exits, and repeats multiplies, exits, and repeats. multiplies, exits, and repeats. multiplies, exits, and repeats. multiplies, exits, and repeats. which makes us sick. 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 So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody. So if we can bind those spike proteins up with something like an antibody, it'll prevent them from being able to attach and enter cells. It'll prevent them from being able to attach and enter cells. It'll 
prevent them from be able to attach and enter cells. It'll prevent them from be able to attach and enter cells. It'll prevent them from be able to attach and enter cells. It'll prevent them from be able to attach and enter cells. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. Which is exactly how we've beaten back viruses with similar spiky proteins before. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. This was a 3D rendering of the Ebola virus. You see all those proteins on the surface. 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 When we talk about the spike proteins. This 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 when we talk about the spike proteins. That's what we're talking about. 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 No matter which virus we're looking at. 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 This is HIV actually. So this is printed after we do our cryo TEM, and you can see all these little tiny things.